Hi, I'm Perry Romanowski, back with another video about cosmetic preservation. In this video, we're going to look at the top seven indications that you might need a new preservative system in your formula. But before we get into that, I want to remind you of our upcoming cosmetic preservation webinar. It opens tomorrow, so if you are going to join, you'll want to sign up now. It will be closing to new people after tomorrow. In this webinar, worldwide cosmetic preservation expert Dean Godfrey is going to review the topic of cosmetic preservation, looking at why you need it, which preservatives are effective, and the proper method for choosing the right preservatives for your system. Plus, you will be able to get your preservation questions answered by him. If you formulate cosmetic products and want to ensure that they are safe, this presentation will be invaluable. All right, let's get back to our topic. How do you know when you need a new preservation system? As we talked about in the previous video, the best way to ensure that your formula is safe from dangerous microbial contamination is to include a preservative. Fortunately, most products on the market have preservatives and the products are safe. But sometimes preservation systems fail, and unfortunately, if it fails when the product is on the market, it can put your consumers at risk, not to mention leading to expensive product recalls. It seems more and more products are being recalled due to microbial contamination. It's a little scary. But as a formulator, you can prevent this. You just have to recognize the signs that you might have a preservation problem. Here are seven signs you might need to change your preservation system. Number one, it fails a contamination test. No matter where or how you make your cosmetic formulas, you should always test it to ensure that it is not contaminated. This should be done soon after you make the batch and before it goes out for sale. It's easy for batches to get contaminated since microbes are everywhere and if your preservation system isn't strong enough to stop contamination, uh, then you're going to need a stronger system. Number two, your product fails a preservation efficacy test. While contamination testing is crucial, so is a preservative efficacy test, or a PET. This test will demonstrate whether your preservative system continues to work over time. If your formula fails a PET, then you'll need a better system. Every formula you sell should pass a preservative efficacy test. Number three, your product changes color. Even without testing, there can be some signs that the preservative system in your formula has failed. One obvious thing is that the color changes. While color changes do not always signal preservative breakdowns, sometimes they do. If you have a formula color change, you might have to change your preservation system. You certainly should test for, for that if you see some sort of change. Number four, your product smells different. Another sign of a preservative breakdown is a change in product odor. Some of the byproducts of microbial metabolism are foul-smelling molecules. Just like spoiled milk smells bad if your preservative breaks down, your cosmetic formula can also smell bad. If this happens, you'll need a new preservation system. Number five, your product gets unexpectedly thinner. If microbes start proliferating in your formula, they are going to start eating raw materials. One type of raw material that microbes like are polysaccharides, such as those used as thickeners in your formulas. So if your product gets unexpectedly thin over time, that could mean your preservation system has failed and you'll need to reformulate with a better system. At number six, you see black or white specks in your product. One of the telltale signs of microbial contamination is growth of colonies. These can take many forms, but they get large enough that they'll look like either black or white specks in your formula. If you've got any kinds of specks or particles in your formula that you didn't put there on purpose, it's highly likely that you have a contamination problem and you need to find a new preservative system. And finally, number seven, if your product irritates consumer skin or eyes. Preservatives are good at killing cells. That's why we use them. Unfortunately, that's also why they can have a negative effect on human cells. So you might find that your formula irritates the skin of a significant portion of your consumers. 
If this happens, you need to get a new preservative system. Finding the right preservative system can be complicated because of different factors involved in choosing one, but if you see any of these seven symptoms in your formula, you should quickly change your formula. Getting your product recalled and endangering your consumers is never a good situation. And if you pick the right preservative at the start of your formulation efforts, this will not be a significant problem. So there you have it, the seven things to look for when you're deciding whether you need a new preservative system or not. And how will you pick the right preservative system for you? By learning about all the ones that are available and when they should or should not be used. That's a topic which will be covered in our upcoming webinar with cosmetic preservative expert Dean Godfrey. So to sign up, just click on the link below this video. The webinar will start tomorrow and will close to new participants once the space sells out. But you can sign up now to ensure that you have a place and you can post your questions to Dean Godfrey. Thanks again for watching. I hope you found this information valuable. I'm Perry Romanowski, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.